What's happening, everybody? So, focus of this video is we're going to look at how we can check independence of events. And we're going to look at how can we do this uh, mathematically. How can we do this mathematically? So, if you've watched my series on probability and the different types of problems we can have, this setup problem uh, shouldn't be that too out of the ordinary. But for those of you that haven't seen it, let's read through it really quick. Students at school were classified into whether they were, or sorry, whether they are male or female, female, and whether they are in stucco or not. Those classifications can be represented in the two-way table below. So there's all my males, my females, stucco, and non-stucco. So if you haven't seen my video on how to do probabilities with a two-way table, I recommend watching that before doing this one because there are some probabilities that I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on in uh, this problem because it's kind of understood you should know how to do those already. So determine if the events of being female and being in Stuco are independent. So what we need to do is we need to check is the probability of B equal to the probability of B given A. So if you have two events A and B and you want to mathematically show they're independent, you need to check is the probability of B equal to the probability of B given A. So you need to plug in one event for your B, one event for your A, calculate the probabilities and see are these the same. If they're the same, we are independent. If they are not equal to each other, then we are not independent, aka dependent. So we need to determine if the events of being female and being in Stuco are independent. So I'm just going to plug in based on the order. I'll put female in for my Bs and I'll plug Stuco in for my As. So we're checking is the probability of being a female is that equal to, and I just represent that with an equal sign with a question mark, probability of female given they are in Stuco, okay? So I just need to calculate this probability on the left, probability on the right, are we the same? So using my two-way table, uh, probability that you randomly select someone and they are female, well, you're selecting from all 59 uh, students. How many are female? Well, we're talking 44 out of 59. And we wanna know is this equal to the probability of female given Stuco. So we are given the knowledge that they are in Stuco. So we are stuck to this column. The size of that column is 23 students. So that's gonna go on the bottom. That's the size of my pie. Of my pie, how many of those students are female? Well, 18 out of the 23 are female. So our fraction there is 18 over 23. Now it's going to be rather difficult to tell are these equal or not unless they're exactly the same fraction. Since they're different, what I would do is go to a calculator and figure out the decimal version of these. So 44 over 59, I already did that. It's 0. 0.7458. 18 over 23 is also a 0. 0.7, but it's 0. 0.7826. These are not equal to each other. These are not equal to each other. So I've kind of done my work to try and mathematically show independence, but I kind of need to tie everything together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, because these probabilities are not equal, The events, female and being in Stuco, are not independent. Okay, that would be our conclusion there. So. The, because they're not equal, the events female and being in Stuco are not independent. Therefore, that means they are 
dependent. So let's kind of quickly talk about what that means. So if they were independent events, female and being in Stuco were an independent, let's say I selected a student and I said, hey, I'm gonna tell you already, this student is female. Does that kind of change your views on whether they are in Stuco or not? Well, if I knew they were a female, there's a pretty strong chance they're gonna be in Stuco. Even just looking at the numbers, there's 18 that are female and five that are male. So it, it kind of changes your perception on like, well, the fact that you told me it's a female probably increases the chances that I think they're actually in Stuco because Stuco is, looking at the numbers, a pretty female dominated group at school, okay? so. Knowing female is definitely influencing our, our perception of whether that person is in Stuco or not. So female is dependent on Stuco and vice versa. They are not independent. If things were a little bit more balanced and I got two equal numbers down here, the fact that I would know female, all of a sudden you'd be like, well, I don't know. They could be in Stuco. They could not. The information that they're a female really doesn't change my perception that they're in Stuco. So a common example I use is like, you know, in most high schools, the split of males and females is pretty much the same across all grades. So if I told you, hey, you know, I picked a student at random, it's a female. And I'm wondering, is that idea independent of the idea of what class are they? You know, a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Well, knowing it's a female really isn't gonna really help you and trying to figure out is it a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, right? So there's that. Whereas, you know, football teams are largely male dominated, right? Um, if I told you, hey, I randomly picked a student and it's a female, and I said, is that independent of whether they're on the football team? You're probably gonna be like, you know, the fact that they're a female gives me a pretty good idea about their status on the football team. I'm not saying there's not females on football teams, but football, as of today, is a very largely male-dominated sport. So the fact that you knew it's a female, you're like, eh, I don't, I don't think it's a, it's a football player. Okay, so that's kind of the ideas of independence versus not independent there. So in this situation, knowing that the student is female. Uh, definitely is going to influence and change your ideas of whether they're in Stuco or not. And how we check that? Well, you're just checking probability of B. Is that equal to the probability of B giving 